Yeah, I'm showcasing to you 10 hot business opportunities in the Gambia. There are some businesses I would recommend that you can take on. These unique businesses are what any person who is an entrepreneur or social enterprise or somebody who is an investor can look at and be able to say, okay, my name, Gambia is a good place to you know, as a destination for investment. So you talk about different opportunities in which you can make money. It well. I will talk about the educational sector. In the Gambia here we have a lot of educational institutions, primary school, secondary school, university, and uh, these institutions can't even take care of it. I mean, the local economy. Every day we and Gambia is predominantly in terms of youth. The population of the youth is about close to sixty percent. And we need to educational institutions, especially senior secondary school in the let's say provinces in the villages. Most of the ones that get here are centralized in the cities. And somebody investing in this sector do not have any more you know, to get. You can set up a senior secondary school, you can have to do the for investment or start to pull the technique, or even special institutions like the university. You can invest in that sector. And you guys welcome to such investors. We have real estate, that's number two. That's the, 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 the real estate, the construction industry is doing it. We want affordable homes. And build affordable homes around here, I'm sure you can keep your investment in a very short term. Or you are a real estate developer, you can buy some properties and turn to commercial ventures. I'm sure you can be to do a lot of um, investment, investment in the Gambia and really create a, you know, a welcoming or a change to people's lives and, of course, make monetary returns for yourself. We talk about the agri and the agro allied industry. In the agri sector, we need um, commercial farming. You want farm mechanization. If you can bring in machines, bulldozers, and um, let's say farming implements, tractors, talking about cultivators, and uh, talking about boom sprayers, to so let people go into commercial farming, that would be wonderful. You can even rent. You can rent to people that's the equipment leasing. So that sector too, we need people there. We also talk about uh, a big bank. We have a lot of banks here and I worked with about 13 or so. I'm not sure if you have to banks in the Gambia area, but they are all commercial banks. We don't have um, a great bank or a great insurance. We also need a great insurance bank if you can venture to this in the Gambia area. I'm sure there are one of the activities for you. Because a lot of people who want to go into the market, but you know, the risk involved is something that is taking them away from me. So we're talking about, talking about also about um, agrarian industry. We want to talk about industries that you can process foods from just raw material to final finished products. We have a lot of people exporting granite, exporting cashew. You can go into granite oil processing or like in granite processing to oil, in which you can have vegetable oil from granite instead of importing right now. And, and this oil is very expensive now. You can also process oil from um, cotton, even from soya bean. If you can invest into this area of processing, I'm sure you will be able to make a good returns in this area. So we're talking about also poultry industry. You can rear poultry, birds, chicken, guinea fowl, even ostriches here. Even as layers, maybe producing eggs for meat production. This area too is an area that you can really make good returns. So I want to look at this sector, which is very important in the area. And of course, if you venture into it, you will not have any return. Yes, another, another sector that is important is the automobile industry. We have people who import spare parts for different models of cars or like, um, yes, automobiles. And uh, most of the time, they have people that they repair their cars in the car garages, mechanic workshops, complain that they hardly have the their, their right spare parts. Some of them have to be imported from Nigeria, from Senegal, from um, Europe and what have you. So, we, if you can invest in the uh, in importation of these spare parts of this particular industry, it's a good investment um, climate for you. We also have the hospitality industry. And when I mean the hospitality industry, we're talking about the hotels, the restaurants, the beach bars, the, uh, let's say, the tourist bars around here, people who are people can relax. There are a lot of places that we have a lot of in the tourist season usually starts from September and ends around February, March. It's almost six months. It's always booming and you can invest in this area. You have people coming from Europe and over. I 
Americas that come to the Gambia here on a yearly basis. So if you can invest with all this industry, you can really make good money. Especially if you want to talk about five star hotels under the hotel, and Gambia is still looking for such investment. Then another one, which is number eight now, we're talking about waste recycling. We have a lot of waste around here, the plastics is a nuisance around the beach area. So if you can go into waste recycling, recycling plastics, that would be wonderful here. You can make good returns on that. Or even paper recycling. We also have waste from dumping sites in which it can be recycled. We have insulators come to that area and share it as a partner with the government and waste recycling. That's an investment opportunity for you and for the Gambia. We're also talking about uh, we're talking about agricultural waste. We also have food waste. Sometimes you have granite waste, you have waste from cassava, from fruits like mango, like watermelon. If you can recycle the waste also, that's good money. So that's a good opportunity for you. Then talking about number nine, renewable energy. If you want to go into some, let's say, um, solar power generation, or you want to talk about the wind or the uh, wind um, energy, so that's uh, that is also very very critical in the Gambia here. We need that to uh, augment the national electricity. So if you go into that area of the um, renewable energy, it's an investment opportunity. You can import solar panels or even establish a factory for solar panels, using solar batteries that are affordable and that are reliable and able to have maybe good inverters and what have you. That's a lot of opportunity here. Now people are running into investing heavily in I mean, people buy solar products now to so venture into solar power to show you know to have any get together. And lastly talking about transportation industry. And when I mean transportation industry, I'm talking about long distance travel. I have been uh, a coach bus from Lagos to Banju. But the long distance from Banju to Accra the long distance vehicles you can actually make good money. I've seen that happen other with African countries like in Nigeria and Ghana, not so in Mali. But the ones we have here are not very comfortable. We have one that have AC, that have uh, a bit showers, entertainment inside the buses. I'm sure you can recoup the investment. Of course, you have to factor the um, immigration problems and of course the roads. But the aspects of road transportation is very necessary in Gambia. So these are the few I can showcase to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more information and like this video. Thank you.